Welcome to an exclusive episode of Six Minutes. After time traveling to 36 AD and negotiating with Peter, disciple of Jesus, we were able to get an exclusive interview with him. This is Six Minutes. Where am I? Who are you? Where's all my hair? What is this? So, so, so we're a demon device? So Peter, what was it like being a fisherman growing up? Well, it was a really simple life, you know. And then, uh, Jesus came along and changed my life forever. In, in a good way. So when you died, I mean, when, when in the future, when you're, when you're gonna die, uh, how, how, how do you think, how do you think it'll happen? Well, I mean, how else would you want to die? I mean, I think that I'll be in my bed and I'll be asleep and just go to the Lord very calmly. Like, I mean, like everyone else wants to. Well, the boy is he wrong! Wait, what?! So what were you saying about, uh, saying that Jesus' moral and ethical teachings aren't the center of the gospel? Why did you, why did you speak against that? Well, I mean, we can't get mixed up what is and is important in the Gospels. I mean, while Jesus' ethical and moral teachings are important, it's not they're not the center of the Gospel. The center of the Gospel is that Jesus died, resurrected on the cross, was died, was resurrected on the cross, and was killed for our sins, and he will one day come again. We can't get that mixed up with his teachings. We have to keep our, we have to keep straight that Jesus is the center of the Gospel, right. not his teachings. That thing gonna hurt me. So Peter, why would you write first and second Peter? What's what's the reason? Well, I wanted people. I wanted people to know about um, about Jesus' grace, and I mean, I wanted people to embrace it, and I wanted them to know that they need to um, uh, persevere through the persecution they're facing in Rome, and that they just need to you know just completely uh, take in God's grace and know that's there for them. I can feel the pain! <laughs> Don't hurt We decided we would let Peter stay in the New World for a few more days to understand things like the fact that cameras aren't actually trying to kill you when used properly. Soon enough, he was ready for another interview. Peter, I want you to talk about your relationship with the Christ. Well, um... I felt like he was on, like, he, I had him all to myself. I feel like he favored me. But now that I think about it, Jesus, he's not that type of person. He loves everyone equally, and he wouldn't do that. So, so you've been here for a, a few days, a few few days, maybe a week or so. Um, and you know, you know about the presidential <laughs> campaign, mm -hmm. what's going on with that. What do you think of Donald Trump? Hmm. Donald Trump, you say? Donald Trump. Donald Trump? Donald Trump. Donald Trump? Donald Trump. He sounds like an old ruler of mine. What was his name? Ronald Bardump. Ronald Bardump? Like, as in, like, Ronald, son of Dump? Yes. He got a small loan of 100,000 silver coins from his father, and he wanted to build a wall, and he said it was going to be huge. He was going to make the Gentiles pay for it. Sounds, sounds familiar. Oddly familiar. <clears throat> Anyways, what what do you think of the uh, persecution Christians face today? I think that's nothing compared to what I faced. Right, of course, but uh, I want to. <coughs> I'm sure people are wondering, um, how do you think Christians should deal with it today? I say that they just stay strong and know that God has grace upon them, and um, that to stay encouraged with them, and know that God is always there for you. And he will never leave you. He always, pers uh, he always perseveres. So now we're going to do a segment where uh, Peter's going to ask us the questions. Um, he... <clears throat> Anyways. So, go ahead. Alright, so I've been on the interweb. The in in internet, right? Anyways, and... How does one be Seinfeld? What 
What is fam? What's up with whip? Why do people whip? What's up with the violence? Violence. Well, you see. Doesn't solve anything. Whipping is, uh, it's actually a, it's actually a dance move. A dance move for what? Making horses move? What? How does one dab? It's a question for another. Oh, shoot! Sorry, I just sneeze. I burn the television. Te television, right? Yeah. Yeah, or, or whatever. What is your favorite My Little Pony? What? What's so funny? I watched. We're Disney. gonna move on. I've been watching Disney Channel all the time. We're gonna We're gonna move on. And it says that it's good for we're, people. We're gonna and We're gonna move on. No, we're not moving on. Cut the, cut we're the, just cut gonna, the tape. Cut the tape. What What are you talking about? Cut, Why are you cutting? Cut the tape. The so, uh, what did you think about Judas Iscariot? Well, I mean, I. He was always around us. I I didn't really see anything wrong until, um, I, f I feel like he had a problem within himself. I feel like he didn't quite trust Jesus. I feel like he trusted himself more than he trusted Jesus. You know, I, I didn't feel really comfortable around him. Right. Peter was finally ready to return back to his time, but before he left, it was time for us to ask him the real questions. So Peter, why would you deny Jesus three times? That didn't happen. It's uh. Right here, the Holy Bible that like has everything. That uh, I don't know what you were talking about. <clears throat> and the Lord turned and looked upon Peter. And okay, Peter... okay, I, I know. It was mostly out of fear. So, some uh, some force of power swept over me. You couldn't help yourself. Yeah. How did you react when you heard the rooster crow? I was upset, but I did not cry. Peter remembered how the Lord had said to him before the rooster crows today, You will deny me three times. Then Peter went outside and wept bitterly. Okay! I cried. I mean, how would you feel if you denied the Holy One? Right. Uh, as soon as I heard that rooster crow, I felt a surge of guilt. And at the same time, why wouldn't I believe it? I mean, Jesus said it, and it happened. I felt disappointed. I understand. Now for a final and most important question. Everyone's wondering about it. Do you know when that hotline blinked? You'll use your body on my cell phone. Late night when you need.